Hi, this is John V6EY with a GNU Radio Experiment with an envelope detector. And what I've done is I've created an envelope detector in GNU Radio. And uh, I'm feeding a signal with a carrier of 40 kilohertz and an audio modulation of 600 hertz. And uh, you can see here the creation of the modulated signal. It's 100% modulation. Okay. And then I've got this running through a homemade envelope detector, followed by a low-pass filter and then creating some audio. So when we're starting off with uh, an envelope detector, it's uh, trying to make a DC uh, frequency out of the peaks on the modulated AM signal. So here you can see the output from the det detector and uh, it's followed by an RC filter to try to smooth out and get rid of the uh, higher frequency carrier. And by adjusting the coefficient of the filter, I can remove certain amounts of the, uh, of the carrier signal, but not all of it. And then I've got this flowing through a uh, proper low-pass filter, which is getting rid of all the remaining high-pass or high frequency uh, carrier information and we just get the audio tone out and we can see the volume there. And uh, this program I've created gives us a choice of full wave rectification in the de uh, envelope detector or half wave. Half wave really doesn't work that well. So <laughs> there you can see a whole bunch of the um, carrier getting through on the half wave detector and even uh, increasing the time constant as far as I can here, I'm still getting a bit of ripple, but the following audio filter gets that out. So that's basically the experiment I've done. I've been just simply trying to figure out how to uh, make a uh, an envelope detector in GNU Radio. Uh, part of the reason for this experiment was to see how envelope detectors worked, but the other part was to see if I could actually create one because there is no envelope detector in uh, in GNU Radio. And for good reasons, too, and I'll explain those a bit later. Anyway, so to create uh, this um, little signal here, I've got two signal sources. One is the carrier, and one is the audio. I multiply those to modulate and create a 40 kilohertz uh, modulated signal, which I pass through a bandpass filter at 40 kilohertz. And uh, then into my envelope detector, low-pass filter, and then out into the audio. And I've got the scope set up so I can watch the signal coming out of the so-called transmitter. I can watch the detector output, and I can watch the audio output. So that's basically the program, and uh, you can download this from my website if you want to try it. What I really wanted to show you, though, is how to create an envelope detector. So this is done using what they call the... Um, the embedded Python, Python block, uh, which is something you can add into a program. And if you look here, you can see the code uh, that I wrote. And basically, this code here defines and initiates the envelope detector. It gives it a threshold variable, so I can set that to zero, which just says I want the detector to trigger at a zero signal level and just capture the positive peaks. I've got two modes programmed, uh, mode zero and one. Mode zero is the half wave and one is full wave. And the coefficient for the RC time constant, uh, I've got set up with the default value of 0.15. So when you set that up, um, you also need to create the properties within your object for threshold mode and coefficient. And if you've got one of these variables showing up here, uh, but also showing up as arguments to the initiation routine, then you can see that you can also adjust those uh, from within your GNU radio program. And so I've got threshold hardwired with the mode. I can switch with this chooser between half and full wave. And the coefficient I can change with this slider to, to vary it. So that's the uh, the setup of the program. I've also got a memory here because I need to remember uh, one of the values between calls to this block. You know, the block is set up for floating po point, input and output. 
And here's the actual program, which is called each time that data wants to flow through this block. Basically, uh, for each uh, sample in the data, if I'm in uh, mode one, which is full wave, I simply change the uh, data to the absolute value. Or if I'm half wave rectification, I uh, pick up the input value uh, for the positive peaks and set it to zero for the negative peaks. So that's basically the rectifier. And then I've got the RC filter is just a very simple one pole recursive filter here that works its way through and smooths out, uh, acts basically as a low pass filter. <clears throat> and then it returns the data. So that's the code that I've written for this low pass filter. And what you can see then when it's working is your input signal is a 600 hertz tone modulated on a 40 kilohertz carrier. The uh, half wave detector is picking up the uh, half wave peaks from the carrier and then smoothing them to get the 600 hertz tone output. And uh, you can vary the smoothing coefficients or the time constant of that recursive filter. And as you can see, <laughs> uh, it's really not that great. Um, a simple uh, RC filter isn't that great. But if you pass that through a, a decent low pass filter, then you can get, uh, get a good output. Uh, for full wave rectification, you get a better quality coming out of the detector. Still got a bit of the carrier wave showing up, uh, but uh, fairly clean. And uh, you can vary the RC filter. So this whole program is just basically to experiment and show you how you can build a, pro a processing block in GNU Radio and get it to do something in addition to what's already built into the program. And uh, this... Uh, simple envelope detector is kind of neat to play with and uh, get an understanding as to how it works and how to write some code for GNU Radio. Now I wanted to explain why GNU Radio doesn't have an envelope detector and uh, the reason for that is that if you try to use an envelope detector with an uh, IQ data with quadrature data coming from your receiver Generally, you find the quadrature signals are not proper AC. They've got DC offset in them, and they vary up and down at, uh, at different levels, especially at the zero uh, frequency if you're running a baseband. And because of that, it's impossible for an envelope detector to figure out where the zero point is to clip, uh, flip the diode on and off. So it just doesn't work. And uh, it works here because I'm creating a pure... Uh, pure AC signal uh, using real data as opposed to IQ data, so it, it works just fine. So there's an example of, uh, of doing some neat stuff in GNU Radio, and I hope you're enjoying this series and, uh, and experimenting and trying to do different things uh, with your uh, software-defined radio and DSP hobby. This is John B6EY, Making It Up.